is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome back to Saturday, where we have extended May I Scrap Lift You. Um, so Moira and Sandy and I are doing this series every Saturday, and we are scrap lifting any layout that inspires us. So last month we did it off Pinterest for the month of May. I did Instagram. And as we continue, it's going to be a little random. So I am scrap, scrap lifting one of my partners in crime, Miss Moira. And she has this super fun layout. And I actually think that it is a scrap lift of Becky. Um, I found it on her Instagram. Uh, I feel like there was a similar layout done um, for one of our sketch Sundays last month too. So kind of similar design. So you have a big block in the back and then a bunch of banners and then all of your embellishing and photos kind of stays on those banner pieces contained in that block per se. Um, so I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style, which is all pink fresh goodies. And I am using this kind of plaid paper. And then I have a scrap that has like diamonds in the background. Now, because it's mainly kind of white on white, I did go ahead and ink the edges with some speckled egg distress oxide. And that makes it pop a little bit off the background. I do decide to do the inking on every piece of paper that I put on this as well. So I even do the background. And now I'm just kind of going through like the scraps that I have and the six by six papers and seeing what I can use for my banners. I only want to use the colors that are in that big block. So you have like a light pink and a dark pink, a light teal and a dark teal is kind of where I'm going. So I have, I used three pieces of large paper. So originally we're 12 by 12 and then two pieces that were six by six. Now, one of the six by six papers is actually the same as the 12 by 12 paper, but because it's in a smaller format, it's actually a smaller um, pattern. So it doesn't look necessarily like the same paper, but it definitely is in the same color family, which is awesome. And then, so here's where I'm going to ink all those sides. And I just use um, just the little daubers from Ranger. Um, I, I seem to like them. <laughs> um, I, haven't, I haven't ventured much into the, uh, like the brushes, the life-changing brushes. Um, I, I'm not sure that I could buy something that says it's life changing because then I'll be disappointed if my life hasn't changed <laughs> by it. Or maybe it, I mean, for the better, of course, I mean, it could be life changing and then I'd be very sad that I, I did it and, and spent the money and didn't get it, but haven't quite ventured. So I am on the fence. And I would love to know your thoughts. Are the life-changing brushes truly life-changing? Or do you like the little foam daubers? I would love to know. The other one, the other one is a pink and main brush, which looks really fun. So let me know in the comments what you think. Because I'm interested, I'm interested on the poll of, of what, what is to come. Because, you know, I need to, I need to put something on my Christmas list, right? So maybe that's, that's going to be one of those things. I don't know. So um, definitely let me know. 
So I am going to glue all of my banners down and then I can start working on my photo. So <laughs> this photo is kind of funny. Um, it is a picture of my daughter's drink from uh, Starbucks. We were actually at the grocery store and she wanted to get this drink. She had seen it. Um, I think her friend told her about it. And it has like all kinds of crazy stuff in it. Like, I don't know. And it's double blended and upside. I don't know if it's upside down, but whatever. It's one of those like crazy drinks. So um, the people that were making it. Like she had to show them like the list of ingredients. And so she shows it to them. They make a little extra so they can taste it, which is where my little tiny cup comes in so that I got to taste it too. And honestly, it was delicious. And the people at the Starbucks were like, this is really good. This should be on our menu. Um, it's kind of a lot of work. The next time we went, um, the group of workers was not so excited to make it. <laughs> and they're like, um, we don't have that. <laughs> so um, it, it was really fun for her to be able to, to go get one of those fun drinks. And because that's not something we do. It was definitely a treat. And um, I had a gift card. Probably, I think we got them for Nurses Week. So we just use the gift card because the prices of those drinks are a little crazy to me sometimes. So probably because I have learned to make what I originally only liked from Starbucks at home and I like it better. I think that's that's the reason. But I'm not making this drink at home. That, <laughs> that has to happen only at Starbucks. So I am going to do two clusters. And I am trying to pull all of the fruity elements from this kit um, because this had a lot of fruit in it and I figured that goes really well. So I also add a little teacup. Obviously, it's not in a teacup, but it's close enough. I, I, I like it. <laughs> the color works. The idea is works just fine, too, because it's in a cup. And then I decide I want this frame. So I'm going to put this frame down and then I am going to adhere all of my pieces back up in that little frame with all of my fruit. So there's puffy fruit and there's die cut fruit. And then I'm going to add this gold floral. It's an acetate floral. It's really pretty. Um, unfortunately, it's giving you a ugly glare versus just being pretty. <laughs> um, but I have two of those. So I'm going to put one at the top and I'm going to put one at the bottom. And there's a banner at the top that says my favorite because that is now her favorite drink. Um, and on the bottom it says homegrown. Not really sure that that fruit is homegrown, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. I am also going to add another frame over here to the right um, to give a little bit more of that puffy frame and go with this pinky one. And then I am going to go off camera and find some thickers. So my thickers, um, are an old one, old thickers. And it says, oh, I guess I didn't even put it on. Okay. So in the close-ups, you'll see, I did go with a title. It is called Secret Menu. I also added some Spiegel Mom Scrap Sequins in Ocean of Teal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time.